Hi, Worry Warriors. I am Counselor Carrie, and I am back for another Worry Warrior chat with you guys. So every time we get together, we have a big Worry Warrior question of the day. And today, our question of the day is, how can I change my worries? Maybe you have a worry thought that you really just want to get rid of. Maybe it comes around every time you're at school, every time it's time for math, every time you see your friends, or maybe it's every time you're trying to fall asleep at night. Maybe you just have a worry thought that's really bothering you and you just want to get rid of it and you want to have a new way of thinking. So that's what we're going to talk about today. The worry warrior battle skill that I have for you today is called cognitive restructuring. And cognitive restructuring is just a fancy way of saying we're going to build new, healthier, more positive ways of thinking. And it doesn't mean that we're just going to think positive and ignore our worries. It means that we're going to use those thinking skills that we practiced before, like looking for evidence and thinking about the past to come up with a new thought that we can use to replace that worry thought that we have. So let me give you an example. Maybe your worry is, or your worry thought that you have might be, what if everyone hates me? That's pretty extreme, right? What if everyone hates you? That's pretty, pretty negative. So to use cognitive restructuring, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that worry thought, what if everyone hates me? And we're gonna come up with the complete opposite of it. So the complete opposite of what if everyone hates me might be everyone thinks I'm amazing. Total opposite, right? So one is really, really negative. What if everybody hates me? Everybody thinks I'm amazing. Total opposite, right? You can see they're kind of unbalanced. Is either one of them really true though? Probably not. I'm sure you are amazing. I bet you really are. But is it likely that every single person in the whole world thinks that we're totally amazing? Probably not. So both of those thoughts are actually not great ways of thinking. We want to find something in the middle that's more balanced and true and realistic. So we can take that worry thought, what if everyone hates me? And we can take that opposite thought, everyone thinks I'm amazing. We can look for some evidence and find something more in the middle. We can think, well, um, Dane invited me to his birthday party, so he probably likes me, and um, Scott drew that really awesome picture for me and gave it to me, so he probably likes me too. You think, um, lots of people like me, I have close friends. You see how that's a little bit more balanced? It's not saying everybody likes us and everybody thinks that we're amazing, but it's also not discounting those people who do love us and take care of us and like us and hang out with us. We're not saying everybody hates me because we have some evidence that tells us something different, right? So let's look at another example. Maybe your worry thought is, I, what if I get coronavirus or I'm definitely gonna get coronavirus so that's your worry thought now we're gonna find the complete opposite of that the opposite of that would be I'm not ever going to get coronavirus I'm never gonna get it so you see there are two opposites I'm definitely gonna get it and I'll never get it now is there any way of knowing if either one of those is really true or balanced Not really we can't really say that we're never gonna get it but we also shouldn't say we're definitely gonna get it because we don't know so we can find a more balanced way of thinking we can say it's possible that I could get coronavirus but I will do what I can to stay healthy and we can remember all those things that we have that we can do to stay healthy like washing our hands not touching lots of surfaces not touching our faces so we can take that worry thought what if I get coronavirus and the opposite of that, I definitely won't get coronavirus. And we can find something more in the middle that's more realistic and it takes facts into account. See, that's so important. A lot of times our worries don't come from facts. They don't come from real events or true things that are really happening around us. They just come from ideas or guesses that we have in our brain about what could happen or what might happen. And they're usually not real, they're usually not true. So we can use the real facts that we can find in the world around us to do cognitive restructuring and build healthy more balanced ways of thinking about the thing that we're worried about. So you can try this next time. Next time you have a worry thought, I want you to notice your worry thought and then I want you to think of what the complete opposite of it is. And then take those two things and find a more balanced thought in the middle that takes into account facts and past events. And that's the thought that you can say to yourself instead of that worry thought. So once you find that more balanced thought in the middle, that's what you can repeat to yourself. Every time that worry sneaks into your brain, you can just say to yourself, you know what? Everybody doesn't hate me. I have close friends, people like me. And you can just repeat it to yourself. I have close friends, people like me. Just repeat it every time you hear that worry sneaking into your brain. Now, I don't know what your worry is. It might be something different. But whenever you come up with that balanced thought, say it out loud to yourself. Say it in front of the people who love you. Then they can help 
remind you when they hear you talking about your worries, they can remind you of that more balanced um, thought that you came up with when you practiced cognitive restructuring. That's all I have for you today, Worry Warriors. I'll see you next time.